Hello everybody, welcome back to the Oracle Integration Tax Super Channel. Today, in this video, we are going to look at how to generate a random number using JavaScript in Oracle integration. So guys, before I start, I will ask everybody to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. Now, let's get started. And first of all, let's understand what is library in Oracle integration. A library is a file or a collection of multiple files bundled in a jar that contains JavaScript function. A library is nothing, it's a collection of JavaScript functions or a single JavaScript file, which has the function. Why this library is required? However, Oracle integration has out of the functions, as you see in this screenshot, like some advanced function, Boolean function, conversion function, date function, integration cloud function, mathematical function, and string functions which can be used to transform the data. Sometimes those functions does not help. Then in this case, you need to write custom function. How you can write custom functions? You can write the custom functions in JavaScript and you can upload that JavaScript function in our Oracle integration and create a library. Library is used within an integration and is executed by a JavaScript engine on the server as part of an integration flow. So when you use that JavaScript in an integration, it will be passed by the JavaScript engine. You will pass the input parameter and will get the output. The requirement of that library is like when we want to create the functions to meet our requirement like you want to generate a random number, maybe generate random number function is not there in Oracle integration. So you may need to write a custom function in JavaScript. Like here you see when you, put, when you create a function, that function will be visible as a user defined function in the mapper. So you can call those functions via the JavaScript action or that is also visible as a user defined function in the function palette. So let's look at a use case, how to generate a random number in Oracle integration with the help of JavaScript function. So what I have done, I have created a sample, a simple generate random function, which will take one digit and whatever digit I will pass, it will generate a random number of that digit. For example, I will pass one, then it will give me a random number of one digit. Sorry. If I pass two, then it will give me the random number of two digits. So let's see how we can achieve this requirement in Oracle integration. So in order to upload that function in Oracle integration, you have to go to the integration and then libraries. And you have to create a library here. Click on a create library and you can give a name as a random lib and you have to choose the file. It can be a single JavaScript file or it can be a ZAR file, which will have multiple JavaScript files. Let's choose the file, which I just showed you. And let's say random generator.js and click on a create button. Once you cre click on a create button, it will take you to this JavaScript library wizard, wherein it will show you the JavaScript file and all the functions which you have defined in your JavaScript file. Click on that function which you have, which will show you input and output and click on a select. From here, you can change the data type of your input and output parameter, which you will pass. So you have three types of input parameter, Boolean, number and string. Let's say number. Similarly, in the random, I will say number. Once this configuration is completed. Click on a save button and it will give you a message library was saved successfully. Come back. Now here you see random number is configured. If you further want to update that library, 
means JavaScript, let's suppose you have updated that JavaScript file and you want to upload that. So what you have to do, you have to click on this action menu and click on the update button and you have to upload the modified JavaScript file here. Now let's consider before you modify, you have used that random lib in any one of the integration and integration is up and running means active. So once you upload the modified library or JavaScript, you have to deactivate and activate the integration to make the changes effectively. Okay. Now let's see how we can use that library. So before I create an integration, let me show you one lookup, which I have created random digit lookup. Wherein you see, I have two columns, digit and value. If I pass one, I will get then 10 so that I can pass to my JavaScript function. If I pass two, I will take hundred and will pass to my function, JavaScript function so that it can generate the random of two digits. Discard now, and here you see, I have till 10. Right, you can make more entries if you want to generate random number of more digits. Now, <clears throat> go to the integrations and click a uh, click on a create button and create one app driven orchestration integration. Let's say random generator and click on a create button. What? I will do, I will create one RAS based integration, random and click on the next button. And here I will say slash random. It will be a get and add a review parameter and configure this endpoint to receive the response. Click on the next button. In the query parameter, I will add one parameter, let's say is it, and it will be of my integer type. Click on the next button and here in the select the response payload format, I will select JSON. Click on inline and here I will give one inline JSON. Let's say result and we'll say one because I will take the integer. Okay. Next, finish. Next step is to call my library so to, to call a library i will use one action called javascript i will drag and drop that javascript and will enter lib call and click on a create button once you do this you will see this wizard and you need to click on plus function button it will give you all the functions which you have in the javascript file so if you have two javascript two functions in the same JavaScript, it will create two rows here. Since I all only have one function, which is called generate random, I will select this and select. It will ask the value, which I need to pass to the digit. So I will click on add it. And here I will use my lookup value function to call my lookup. I'll drag and drop here. And I'll use this random digit lookup Next, in the select source column, I will use this it. And here I will use value. Next, default value, I will say one. Next, and then finish. Okay, and in the source value, I will remove it and will pass the digit here. Okay, and then refresh, close. Now, in the digit, I will pass 10, 100, 1000, something like this clause. Now I need to map the output of this to my response. So click on add it. Here you say lib call and it will say R-A-N-D output underscore lib call underscore rand and which I will pass to my result and click on a validate and close it. The last step is to enable the tracking which is mandatory, save, save and close. Next step is to activate your integration. Once activated, next step, we can test the integration. 
click here and test. Let's say I want a random number of two digits. So I will pass two and test. Here you see, I am getting a random number of two digits. Let's say three, 174. 671. Let's say I need a random number of five digits. Let's say five. You see one, two, three, four, five. So that gives me the random number of the past digit. So this is how we can call the JavaScript in Oracle integration. So guys, that's all about this video. If you like this video, please like, comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. You can also see my blog https colon slash slash www.taxsuffer.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.